60 and man, oh Microsoft, they've done huge business, mate. Oh, yeah, they made a massive move, mate. Massive. They have bumped up the GPU of the Xbox One, but not by five, not by one not oh, one. Oh, megahertz, not by two megahertz, not, two. not by four megahertz, not, four. not by eight, not, not by eight. sixteen, not, 16 not, by 32, not by thirty-two. But they've oh. increased it by fifty-three megahertz. Whoa! Oh my God, guys, Damn. this is seriously game changing. Uh, this is game changing. This is so They've good. bumped up the GPU by fifty-three megahertz. Oh my God! Yeah. This is massive. M We're talking M Titan M power M here, guys. We're talking GTX six ninety, GTX six. Okay. M Seriously, look. All right. Microsoft, please. Oh, ah, uh, this is gonna be tough to say, but look, guys, you need to listen. By Microsoft bumping up the GPU to 53 mega uh, to buy another 53 megahertz from 800 to 853, honestly, it barely does anything. This is not. Uh, it's gonna bump up the performance by a tiny bit, and it's good that they did it in the first place. But people are acting like this is game changing. It, it really isn't. The difference is not that big. I mean, honestly, uh, it it's 53 megahertz. It. It's it's a it's a nice it's a nice increase. Look, don't give me um like don't don't like um like put me against that. It's a pretty good increase, but honestly, it's not the game changer. It's not gonna add much performance, and you probably won't be able to tell in game. Oh, that fifty actual fifty three megahertz really came in handy. Yeah, nah. Honestly, when Microsoft were making the um the decision about the um better um GPU or the better um more or twelve gigs of RAM. If I honestly sat there and they were like, all right, we're going to add either, if I knew about the 53 megahertz, we're going to either add 53 megahertz or add another 4 gigs of RAM or they're going to have the 12 gigs of RAM, definitely, any day of the week. I mean, VRAM, it's not very, it's not like the most important thing, but they put a lot of the RAM towards the um, operating system. I think they're putting like a few gigs to it. And if they just add more RAM, then that just puts um, them an even further edge from the PS4 in terms of... Um, like RAM, like memory, to the, for the game. So yeah, the 53 megahertz, it's definitely not game changing. Um, so don't be like full pumped about it. Oh yes, baby, 53 megahertz. No, it's not like that. It's not like that. The difference is not very big. It's a very small percentage increase, but they've done it. It's good. At least it, they're trying to win the consumers back, and I can see why. I mean, they got so much negative press, and I kind of feel sorry for them. Um, a lot of people just didn't understand what they were trying to do. Um, but. Uh, I guess they just made them really mad, and even though they're trying to reverse the, some of the stupid things they did do, people are still pissed off, and I really feel sorry for Microsoft. It's a massive they hole, don't. and it's really a shame. And I'm not buying any co uh, either console anyway. I'm buying the um, I'm, I've got a PC, so that's all right. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I just wanted to say that the difference is not that big, and yeah. And I'm not a fanboy. You guys know that I'm a PC guy, and I actually was an Xbox guy before, but honestly. This 53 megahertz bump is barely anything. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Let's go back out there, guys.